Welcome back guys to the internal door project that I'm doing. Um, I'm now at a stage now where I've done all the routering, I've cut all the, the top sections of the jams of the doors and I've cut the bottoms or the bases. So you can see I've cut in a groove there to take the glass. <coughs> all this stuff is tulip wood, I think I've said in the previous section of the video. But now what I'm doing is that I'm using my domino machine, which is like I said in the last section of the video, was I'm going to be creating what's called a floating tenon. So what I'm going to be doing is channeling into there and creating two pegs there, two pegs there. And because this is a wider section up here, I'll put three pegs in that one, just so we got a lot, a lot of strength there. So what I'll do, so I'll get this all set up, sit to the correct height and depth that I want and put the right size bit in it. I think there's a 12 mil bit in there at the moment, but I'm probably going to use a 14 and uh, then we'll go from there. Right, the next step of the process is to start doing all the mortising and tending with my domino machine here. So, just get this jam all set up. Right. I'll start plunging it in and then I'll show you exactly how it finishes once I'm done. Alright, just clean out all the pockets that I've made. Just using a hoover. Alright, I'll show you what that domino machine has just done. So it's created it's almost like a glorified dowel, really. So that just slots in there like that. And then my other piece, which is here. So this is the base. That would just sit down on top of all those pegs there like that. So I think it was down here. They would just all align up like that. So this is the base of the door, the bottom of the door. And then all those channels will line up through and then you've got one on the opposite side. That'll go like that. Okay, so there's your top of the door and there's the base of the door. And then inside that recess will be sitting glass. Now I'm just gonna do the rest of them now you know the process of what i'm going to be doing just literally trenching out all these on all these doors or the jams and the styles and all that sort of stuff down here and then once that's done i'm going to be creating a tiny little chamfer probably about five mil in diameter across there like that with a bit in my router bit and that's going to match up to what's there currently at the uh, at the job okay and i'll show you the next step after i've done all the trenching out with my domino bit 
so there we have it guys one door not fully finished or glued or anything like that because you have to put the glass in before it gets glued up but that is the basic idea of the door so start at the bottom and start at the top or transom rail top rail bottom rail and style and the style and that is effectively it guys for all these doors so I've just got to repeat 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 do the same again same again get them all finished and then I've just got to mark up where the internal side of the bases come so the top or the, the top base and the bottom uh, this bottom section of the top base and the top section here of the base at the bottom and then I'll give these a nice little sand up and then we'll um, start painting them just uh, I think they're gonna be a white finish so I'm just gonna give them a, uh, a primer and then a base coat and then I'll once I've got the glass glue it all clamp it up leave it and then a decorator will come along and finish all the bits once all the scutching and all that sort of stuff's on but I'll take it through you step by step as I go and how I mark or how I indicate which is for which door so typically what I do is I want to mark the face side and you can put anything you can just put F if you want for a face but what I like to do is almost like an at for an email address you can see one that I've done there so I just know which is face up and then I'll probably indicate an A an A B C D and I'd also mark up which number this is or which leaf side it would be um, so I'll probably just put number one number two and then the last one the bigger door which is an 838 door I'll probably put um, number three on there or something like that so then at least once I take them apart and then I sand them up I know which one goes where Right, now it's time for a trial and fit for, for the doors that I've just made. So using the domino bits and just putting them into the pockets down here. So I'm only gonna put two in where three are. I'm only gonna put one in at the top just to get a, an idea of what the joints look like once they butt up. That's a nice tight fit. we got the base and you just got to line up the face lines like I showed you earlier so they all so they all line up in this case it's on the other side make sure the groove obviously follows this channel and just line up the dominoes and give it a push home Go. Oh, you can see there, guys, that was a beautiful fit. I'm going to do the same on the top. Let's just flip it round so I can show you what it looks like when you're pushing in there. Just trying to be careful not to damage any of the edges. So guys, got the face mark there, got the domino bit in there, and all we've got to do is line it up, and push it home. Now these aren't really tight, so. There you go. And as you can see, Uh, 
is a beautiful fit. And the same on the opposite end for the base. So now all I've got to do now is put in the last domino bits on the top there and on the other side. So one domino bit up here, push it home. The same down the other end. What's a really good thing about this domino tool is you can adjust how much it trenches out. So you can adjust the depth and you can adjust the width only by one setting. But let's say if you're fitting something like a worktop or something like that and you need room to be able to manoeuvre it left or right you can just adjust it automatically to trench out a little bit more from left to right which I find is a great feature so now it's just a matter of Trying that top and see what the joints look like. Just gonna give it a little tap on with my rubber mallet so you don't damage any of the edges. And there we have it guys. One door ready to be sanded and painted and then glued up with the glass in and ready to take to the customer. That's it guys, thank you for watching my part two episode of this part three series of how I made these uh, bespoke internal doors. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I will see you guys on part three of this little series.